Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. Welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Continuing through my career with Lawn Demons. We're starting our second week here, Monday, March 8th. Alright, so it looks like we may have something significant here. Oh boy. So our only contract, unless I want to do a pickup one again, is this historic land royal stones. Now, there's no way to remove it. Because to me, I, I just don't think I'm prepared for this. I need a bigger deck. Like, to me, this is too much for me. So I think we're just going to need to go with the campsite here and do the litter and then just pass up a day. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so here in the campsite in Foxstone Holiday Park. Do not light campfires. Please keep dogs on the leash. Bin it, don't flush it. So I'm just wondering if this is like really big and that's why it is taking a large amount here. Oh, there's another one there. Looks like something over here. Or maybe it's just challenging to find stuff. I don't know. Yeah, because certainly we've got to get closer to things, it looks like. All right, there's shoes. There's a lot of paper spread around, is what it appears to be. All right, those are rocks or something. I always, like, see them... All right, so nothing there. I assume it's going to be in the grass in all cases. Uh, I think we've got some more here. Um, is there something up there on the hill? There is. Oh, I guess I'm in the back here. I got totally turned around. I thought I was somehow heading back to the front. I'm like, how did I miss these? All right. So that's the lane. So this is where I did start. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of different directions here. Hmm. All right, got a couple more. So it's just really a question of what is going to be tucked away. I like look up too fast or something. Alright, so I think I had come around here. One more piece of litter here somewhere. So when I find it, I'll join up with you again. And there it is. Alright, so we are done. Alright, so we got some earnings. We got a little bit of a time bonus, but 37.14 pounds. No rank up or anything, not surprising, but now we're on to Tuesday. Let's hope for something better. Okay, so this is another, This because I think these are general contracts, this is something different. So this is a, it's still a cut, but it's just an interesting place. So let's see, it's not overgrown, it's Hillside Resort. Pear Tree Lodge doesn't want to disappoint its British holiday goers and has requested your expertise. It's eco, large area, rolling slopes, medium fines. So it's just a general cut. I've got again a little bit smaller thing here, but it's better than the overgrown stones. Oh, I don't have an eco mower. Well, well, well. Right, because that these are just trash and trash. Like I'm not gonna make money. I just really need this to go away. Alright, well I'm gonna grab another litter contract here. Alright, I found a valuable, but I am struggling to find a last piece of trash here. I'm hoping I make it. Alright, I did make it. Not much time to spare though. All right, well, the valuable recovered. Wow, 750 pounds, but I did not realize that was something that was possible. All right, so I'm now credible rank two. Another challenge. 
The important thing is we unlocked several cuts, so hopefully we have one that we can do. All right. Importantly, it looks like the cut from stones, the other stones or something are gone. Let me see, because this is eco, so... Alright, so now I understand what those are. So I cannot grab either of these, but I can take this one, I believe. Oh boy, it's overgrown as well. Ah. Oh. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to have to try it, because otherwise I'm just going to have nothing to mow. This one's a little bit smaller, I think. I just walked it. It's not nearly as large. So we'll give it a go. Alright, so just ran around here looking for trash, but maybe, you know, it was the next day or something. Maybe they more people came by and just threw stuff around. But at least I'm slightly familiar with this location now. Yeah, this grass is longer. It's amazing how much it grows in a day. So let me go back here. Because I think I want to get this one done. Like this area. I probably would make a beeline back here. Well, I won't. I'll go around the edge. But yeah, I thought that metal detector would have been a piece of trash. But it was not... Yeah, it's like, because of the overgrown nature, I have to be much closer to the trash. Like, you can't see it as easily. Alright, so we've got the ground check done. The vehicle had been repaired before. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to see... If I lower this and then turn it down, let's see. Well, the nice thing is I can do it. It's just my guess is I'm going to have to go significantly slower because it'll. So it's just going to be a really. Well, okay, I probably can't do cruise control because I think it's... I mm, wonder if I can set my cruise control... oh boy. If I can set my cruise control speed in a different way. Because I'd rather, if I could, I'd rather do that. Oh boy. I mean, I'd rather do this with a mower than come around here with a trimmer, but I don't want to knock anything or destroy anything. Like I think around on the stones I'm gonna have to do the trimmer. So I don't think there's any way to do it any other way over there. Let's see, but these little things are just I I don't know. I mean I guess I just need to assume I'm not gonna make the time. I just need to more focus on the cut. Like, I can go a little bit faster. Oh, I just hit the wall. I was trying to avoid collisions for the first time ever, but it'll obviously take me a bit of time. Because this isn't that large of a piece of land, I don't think. But, like, that other one was... It just seemed huge. And again, maybe this is deceiving. Um, so maybe I'll be like, wow, it is. Uh, let me see. I need to. I need to get a view oh, over here. Ay ay ay. All right. I'm like I'm near a tree or something. Something is. And I think I collided with the wall again. But yeah, I think around the rocks and stuff, I'm gonna need to just come by and, and do that with a trimmer because you know, there's a good amount of space here but as far as the the druid stones so there's you know in essence what I would say the other one is almost like a stonehenge looking thing 
So I think some of this also depends, like, because some of it was like 22 centimeters, which is like 10 inches, because it's like 2.54 centimeters to the inch. So for me, even though this game kind of takes place in Britain, you know, it's the challenge of knowing what things are, and it doesn't ultimately matter, um, because it works fine as far as, um, I just know what the height is that they tell me I need to do. But I'm also wondering if I'm going to have a problem with the blade lasting. Because now I know, like, if I do, I've got to replace the blade. Because I can't leave and then um, go back. But, like, I'm already down. You can see what it looks like. I mean, I started with a fresh blade and I'm easily down 5 to 10% already. So, yeah, I'm going to do this section and just kind of get it done. So I'm going to just come around here and then probably pull back a bit once I get back near the wall. I don't know. Maybe I'll come around. I just feel like I'd like to get the the wall done so it's one of those like it's just nice to finish and, you know even if I need to go all the way around the wall with a trimmer that's fine see like I'm getting really close to um, overheating the engine Ah, getting too excitable. I'm almost running into things there. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, but it's something to look at, because if I can set the cruise control to something slower, and it might be still be worthwhile, so maybe I'll see if I can adjust that, because if I can get it down to you know, figure out what I can cut at, then at least I can go, because this is definitely a large expanse of land where if I could do something, you know, it would be a great result. It's just I know I'm not going to make it in time, so like sitting there and being like, oh, I'm going to lose time looking at the controls, I don't know that that makes a lot of sense. So let me pull away there. All right, I'm not finding anything in the controls. So I'm just not sure that there is anything that I can do. It just would be easier. See, I was hoping, like, a cruise control in the car, like, I can set it at the speed I'm at. But this instead, like, just puts it at the maximum. And maybe certain mowers can be adjusted. It's just that it happens so fast. Maybe if I clear out a space, I can try... But I'm going to go ahead and keep cutting because you don't need another marathon episode like I had before. And um, so I'm going to do that and then we'll come back when there's something to chat about. Alright, so the nice thing is it is dry. Oop, I hit some heavy grass there, but... Um, but I did find a way to adjust the cruise control speed. So basically you hit the forward and back keys. Um, and you can toggle the speed up and down, which is kind of what I thought. It just didn't display it on the screen. But, so... Yeah, the 3 is too high. I think this is the best I can do. But the key is, you know, at least I know I'm going at a consistent speed this way. And I, I can just focus on driving as opposed to also worrying about the pedal and everything else. But this is kind of my point. Like you can see, I've got just long directions here where I'm, you know, going on a pretty tight 
are, are a pretty long run, and just especially when I get back out in the main area. Um, so if I can just focus on, again, the drive, that will allow me... Whoop, I think I'm moving over a little too far. I want to make sure I'm on the deck. But that will give me the option to move along. Um, but yeah, when I went to three, like sometimes it works, but other times it was bogging down and I really did some engine damage, so I'd rather not do that. So it's going to be interesting here, though, um, what my blade situation will be. So now that you understand that I know how to do the cruise control, and more importantly, if you've been playing this game and didn't know how, um, I've discovered that for you. I think I probably will have another collision there. So that's disappointing. And I'm just worried that the uh, penalty will be higher because it'll be like, well, you hit these precious relic stones, um, which I, I get to some degree. I suppose I, I really didn't need to get that close because, again, I can just come in here with the trimmer. But we can see things here. Just trying to get this a little bit done here. So we'll go back around one more time. Uh, maybe I can cut more of this so there's less to trim. But then hopefully I'll be able to get most of this here. So the last question that I'm going to resolve here is, will it, um, no, it won't. So y you have to adjust it every time, which is not good. So I was like, will it remember where I was at? But it will not. All right, so I'm going to go away and keep working on this. Uh, whoop, and I'll see you when I, uh, when I come back. Alright, I'm going to fill it up, but finish this up. So the good news is that, yeah, we've uh, got it taken care of. So basically around there, I just started, um, just started cutting around those stones, and, and then it gave me the complete at 99%. So did a did a good job. We got that taken care of, so let's see what it turned into. So, you know, not the greatest cut in the world around the stones, but we didn't need to do it. It got close enough, so I probably would have done a better job, but it didn't require that I do so. So I did hit a plant, I know that. So, oh wow. I guess I got three flowers destroyed, or maybe it was just a lot. But we got a good ground check earning. Um, no cutting time, no valuables. But, you know, three dollars, five seventy-five in collisions. I did have an incorrect height when I panicked on the uh, cruise control at one point. So I corrected that as fast as I could. And then obviously vehicle maintenance, I don't know that I would say that that was a bad thing, but... So overall, not bad, 981, we're over a thousand pounds again. So I went ahead and got credible rank 3. So we'll keep unlocking these challenges. We unlock Kingsbury House. So now we're down to four days for our upgrade. But let me go to maintenance. And do a full repair. Full repair on the engine, more importantly, a full repair on the blade. And then I believe, oh, okay, because we had a little bit more we needed. So I'm still over 2,000 pounds. So the question is going to be, like, what can we do? Wow, some of these. All right, so, so see, there's an eco there. Whoops. So when I'm looking for the eco, yes. See, here there's no eco. What's the lowest cost eco? 
right, the ego is, but and that's a zero turn, but we need a good amount of money yet. But let's see. So this is kind of the bad boy. Whoa. <laughs> now that's impressive. I mean, a lot of these are, are pretty big, but some of the Tauros. And I wonder if we unlock other items eventually, or if this is all of them at this point. I don't think it is. So you can see here we've got, you know, all these unlocked. We just need a couple more here. So there's some challenges that are there. There's professional challenges, expert challenges, but we don't have those things unlocked. I'm not really worried about that. But if I go here, you can see three of 17 vehicles. So it only seems like I can, I've only unlocked three of them. So I may not even be able to buy any of those others, even if I have the cash. But it'll definitely be interesting to see but at this point, another episode in the books. Certainly enjoying uh, this to some degree. It's you know it's not the most exciting simulation available, certainly, but it, it does a decent job uh, of what it's trying to do. I mean, I know that I've heard complaints from people who are very familiar with these machines that they don't have enough equipment. They don't have enough things going on, but so far, not too bad. I mean, I'm glad I was able to do that contract with the overgrown grass and not just get killed by it. So that was good to see. Plus, I learned how to operate cruise control. So continuing to learn, and as I get better and better, I'm thinking, uh, you know, things will get better and better. And, you know, maybe one of these days I'll pick a new career slot and just do something completely different and really you know figure out how I would do my company if I had it to do over again so all that learning could be put to good use here but for now I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please drop a like absolutely comments I need comments with it being a new series and so forth uh, at this point where I think in the fifth episode so if you haven't commented already, or even if you have, just continue bringing up what you're passionate about, and that way I'll be sure to understand what people are looking for. And I will see you next time.